Hello, good morning. Sunday morning, 13th, I believe. 13th of November. Uh, wow, time is flying, isn't it? The year's almost over. Get ready for 2023. It's going to be great. Um, I wanted to talk about a topic that's come up with a friend of mine a couple times. And it's interesting to me. Um, restoring honor, restoring honor. Again, if you watch my channel or if you talk to me, I talk a lot about just divorce, being divorced, kind of the shock and awe, as it were, of being um, single, especially if you never thought you'd be single. And then, of course, like single parenting, single, single fathering. Um, and I think how to do it better, how to be better, how to... Um, I really do think that I really do think this how to be a better man, a better person than you than you were before. Um, there are some there are some pros to being divorced. There are some pros to single parenting, that's for sure. Um, uh, but nevertheless, for a lot of in fact, I just talked to a guy. Uh, must have been Thursday. Again, these are the same stories almost every single time. You know, the guy was like, "Yeah, we were having some problems." But she came out of nowhere with this divorce, and we had two kids, and the nightmare that he <clears throat> had to go through, you know, kind of like, uh, I knew we were on the rocks, but I never thought, like, and then this divorce happens, and there you are. You're, you're, it's thrust upon you, and you, and you can't do anything about it. So, um, at least in terms of getting the divorce, if the other person wants the divorce, then they're going to get their divorce. That's, that's going to happen, whether you like it or not. But the other things, post you know, uh, uh, ne hostage negotiating uh, the divorce situation, as it were, and particularly parenting time, things like this. Uh, I mean, it's an ongoing thing. You're never divorced. You're never really divorced, whether you think you are or not. Um, the topic, though, is restoring honor. Restoring honor. A man trying to restore his honor after divorce for myself and a lot of guys that I've talked to you look back on it hindsight right learning is obviously a lot of times hindsight man I missed the boat on that and uh, talk to some other people as well well men and women but uh, particularly men that realize like you know man I didn't do that right I didn't say that right I would try that I would do that over I would have said something different, you know, um, um, to not to try to save the marriage. Um, but save the man, not the marriage. Save the man, not the marriage. At that point, when they're gone, they're not coming back. It's a hard pill to. That's a hard pill to swallow, man. Like, oh, they're really out of here. This is really everything's changing. At that point, you got to save the man, not the marriage, man, because that's where most men self delete. Is during or after divorce, especially with kids involved. If you get your kids taken from you um, legally, uh, divorce court mafia, and you see everything just kind of being ripped away from you, that's where most men do uh, self harm, man. And so, um, overcoming that, overcoming all of that, right? And so, this is where this restored honor comes in. Again, people talking like, man, I would have said that different. I would have done that different. I would have tried harder. I would have, you know, gone the extra mile instead of being a lazy bum, you know, whatever, and tried to save my, my marriage because I love my spouse type of thing. And I love my kids. I love my family. Um, so anyway, the restoring honor por portion of this is like after a while, um, post-divorce, and again, you're thinking like, man, I would have tried that different. I would have... So this lady was talking to me and she was like, well, why does my ex, um, why is he so nice now? He's like being nice. He's trying to, you know, bend over backwards to um, help me when I need it or take the kids when I need it. Or do I need groceries or do I need, you know, what do I need help with type stuff? And he was kind of a hard ass before and now he's kind of like softening and he's being like a gentleman and you know and he's trying to be a good dad and all this stuff and I was like oh that's easy and so she's thinking like is he trying to 
you know, does he want to try to make moves on me? Is he trying to pull something over on me? Is he going to do like some weird bait and, you know, bait and switch? And he's going to, he's not this, actually this nice person. I said, no, it probably doesn't even have a whole lot to do with you. Although maybe, I mean, he's trying to be nicer for the sake of being nicer because we learn in hindsight a lot of times, but he's trying to restore his honor. He's trying to restore his honor. Um, and I think that when men realize, like, man, I missed the boat on those things. Okay, look, she's gone. She's not coming back. The divorce has happened. I'm on this parenting time that I have. But now, I mean, look, I'm going to make up for the time. I mean, maybe even they move on and remarry somebody else. That's actually pretty common, actually. Men typically marry, uh, remarry quicker than, than women do post-divorce. Um, either way. If they are doing things and saying things that they didn't used to before, um, it's likely that even though maybe he can't say it and express it right to you, he's trying to restore his honor. Because at one point, you were the love of his life, and uh, you know, mistakes were made, mistakes were made on both sides, but it couldn't be recovered. And so now he's trying to restore somewhat of his name. Um, um, and his name as a, as a parent, as a father. Maybe you thought he was just a lazy bum dad before, and now all of a sudden he's kicking it into gear and he wants to be super dad, right? Um, let him. Let him do it. Let him do it. He's restoring his honor. He's trying to restore his name. Because in a divorce, a man... Now, look, reading through like Proverbs, let's say, the scripture talks a lot about this, like a better name. It's better to have a good name uh, and a good uh, um, association with you. You're not known as being a lazy person or a, a bum or a bad business person or whatever. It's like a good name is better than, than gold it talks about, right? And like I think all men know this. I think all people know this. But in particular, it's like it's better to have goodness associated with your name than the opposite. And in a divorce, a lot of name smearing happens. A lot of name smearing happens. A lot of being thrown under the bus happens. Um, I, again, I'm speaking from a man's point of view. I can't speak from a woman's point of view. I don't know what that's like. But I can say, whether it's right or wrong or not, I don't, I don't know. Or maybe it's even... Well, I wouldn't say it's throwing your spouse or ex-spouse under the bus is probably ever warranted. Regardless, people on both sides, I've, I've seen men and women do it. The, 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 the ex-spouse, the ex-wife, she'll have a whole, the sisterhood will all surround her and like, oh, you're stunning and brave. Leave that, you know, leave that guy. He's not good for you and here's why, blah, blah, blah. And then they all circle up around each other. And then, you know, and usually it's single mothers. Come on now. I'm not being mean. I'm just being honest. A lot of single moms create single mothers, right? And so they um, entice or pull away, let's say, the, the woman into this group of single moms. And they can all be single moms together. And then, you know, the guy maybe has a dad or a cousin or something at best. And anyway... And there's name smearing that happens on, on really on both sides. But um, for the, the husband, that name smearing is strong. That throwing under the bus is strong. And, it, and it's hard. It's hard to take. It's hard to handle. Especially if um, lies were told about you. That might be strong. Um, how, would you, how would you put that? And, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, lies are told on both sides. And um, name smearing happens, right? And so then after this, usually, I mean, I've had it in my own life, <clears throat> and I've talked to other people about this as well, uh, and the divorce community is so large. You do, again, you just don't know it until you go through and you're like, wow, everybody's divorced. And so you have a lot of people to talk to that can relate to it. It's very, it's very interesting. And um, a, 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 a reoccurring pattern that I've noticed is like, at least for on a, men's, on a man's side, is like 
they're trying to restore themselves. Themselves. They're trying to restore their name. They're trying to restore their family name. Their name was a father. Um, things like this, right? How's that light? Yeah, a little better. And so anyway, I just I, I just find that interesting. So ladies, if he's if he's coming back and he's saying, "What do you need help with? How can I help you?" Do you need help with the kids? Can I pick them up for you at a certain time? If you're not feeling well, I can take the kids. I can, uh, do you need me to go get you some groceries? What do you need? You know, and it's like, is he trying to be sneaky? Is he trying? I don't think so. What's he trying to do? Is he trying to get back with me? I don't think so. I think that he's trying to restore what he can with his name. Now, there may be irreparable damage. In some people's eyes, his name will never be restored. Or her name will never be restored, for that matter. Um, but there is this awesome, and I'm highly encouraged by this, rebuilding of the man, right? Everything falls down. Your worst nightmares happen. The divorce happens. You get taken to court. Can you believe it? And then, yeah, I only see my kid or kids certain times or certain hours. I can only go to certain functions of theirs uh, uh, at school, these kind of things. Oh, it's not my day to see them. I can't go to that church function because if I do, I'll, you know, I could get in trouble for it, whatever. And you have to like beg and plead master court system for, you know, time to see your kids. And if you don't, anyway, you get it. Who cares? There's this really awesome rebuilding of yourself after divorce and rebuilding yourself as a parent and as a single parent. That's quite incredible. Um, and I am highly encouraged at the process. I'm highly encouraged at the process. I'm really looking forward to these challenges. And I'm, I really mean that. I'm in some personal challenges right now that I'm taking steps in. And um, it's a real learning curve. Taking back my honor, bits and pieces at a time. I'm not great at a lot of this stuff, but I am learning and I am slowly getting better. And, uh, and I'm really looking forward to that. It's quite encouraging. Um, there's this guy I listened to and he, he has this quote and he says, rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man, rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man, my family, it's just my son and I, I don't have a spouse that, that, that time in my life, that ship has sailed, it's gone. So rebuilding my family by rebuilding my, the man, by rebuilding myself and regaining uh, a sense of honor and a sense of duty and a real sense of pride at being a father, being a single father, trying hard, working hard, working on some other things, getting better in my own life personally, uh, physically, spiritually, um, uh, monetarily, uh, that I'm really looking forward to. So I'm looking at wanting to rebuild, regain my, my honor, uh, particularly as a father. And I'm meeting other men that are doing the same. And it's, and it's, it's encouraging. So anyway, guys, you've gone through the divorce or you're going through it right now and maybe you're right in the middle of it right now and it's you just can't even believe you'll ever see the light of day on this thing and you can't even believe that you'll have parenting time and you can't even believe that the money that you've lost in court and lawyers or whatever it is it's like it gets better you need to you need to hear that it gets better and not only that you'll start regaining yourself, gaining ground, gaining sure footage again, and then you, you start rebuilding your honor. And then I would say ladies too, just because I've had a few of these conversations, like why is he being so nice? What's he trying to do? What's he trying to pull? What's he trying to prove? I wouldn't see it that way. I wouldn't see it that way. I would say the man lost, the man lost. He lost. He lost his wife. He lost his kids. He hardly gets to see his kids, likely, if, you, if you're divorced with children. Um, probably lost a house. Have you ever lost property before? Holy cow. Um, a whole family. When you're married to somebody, they have a whole family with them that you used to be friends with, spend holidays with, all this stuff. You lose all that, right? So you're losing not only your spouse and your kid and fi finances. You're losing a whole side of the family. Those things are heavy, man. They're hard. But you're going to get to a place of stability and then you'll slowly start taking your honor back. And this is fantastic. And ladies, this is what he's trying to do. I wouldn't say he's trying to win you back. And what's he trying to pull? Why is he being nice all of a sudden? Why is he, what's he up to? He's being a sneaky bastard. No, no, no. 
he's trying to regain his honor post-divorce. And you should want him to do it. You should want him to do it. It benefits your children together if the man regains his honor. If the man is rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man, by rebuilding himself, it is a benefit to you because it's a benefit to your children. Lean into that. I mean, look, you're divorced. You don't have to lean into shit. But it's like you should want him to get better. You should want him to overcome. You should want him to slowly over time, incrementally gain ground of being a better man and a better father because it's a benefit to your children. That's important. So rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man, even if you're a single parent family, it's just you and your kids, gentlemen, we're rebuilding. And this is fantastic. This is great news. And it's great news for your ex. Try to keep these videos shorter. I've been going long on the last couple, two or three of them. This one's only 16 minutes in, so we're doing good. That's all I'm going to say. I was going to read a few things, but I've just, I want to keep these videos short. Go for it. Gentlemen, go for it. You're going to rebuild. You're going to get better slowly, incrementally over time. You're going to overcome yourself. You're going to overcome your shortcomings. Especially if you're going through that divorce, you're in the middle of it. Don't, don't exercise. <laughs> oh, every time, everything, every conversation I have, exercise. Don't drink. Don't even start. Don't do anything like that. Nothing that's detrimental. Nothing that's hurtful. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. And, uh, and spend as copious amount of time with your children as you can. Stay out of your own head. Work out. Get better. And, that's, you're, and you're going to regain your honor. You can do it. You may never regain your honor in her eyes. You might forever be the, the bad guy. And that's okay. But there's other areas that you can regain honor, re restore your name. And this is fantastic. Love you guys. What are your thoughts on that?